Let's take a look at the intermolecular forces for HF. This is hydrogen fluoride. The first thing we need to look at is, are there any ions present? So we have our molecular compound, and there's no negative or positive after it. So we don't have any ions present, so we say no, and we can get rid of all this right here. Next, we need to ask whether we have polar molecules present. So is HF a polar molecule? It helps to look at the Lewis structure. So this is our Lewis structure. You can see we have a hydrogen atom bonded to a fluorine. Fluorine is the most electronegative element on the periodic table, and it's a big difference between hydrogen and fluorine. That means the electrons in this bond will spend more time with fluorine. So fluorine is a polar molecule. So yes, fluorine is a polar molecule. Next, we need to ask whether the hydrogen here, it's bonded to a fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen. And we know that it's bonded to the fluorine here. So because of that, we can go over here, yes, and say that hydrogen bonding is the predominant intermolecular force here with HF, hydrogen fluoride. We should note, since it's polar, we'll also have dipole-dipole forces, and all molecules have London dispersion forces. But the main force that we're interested in here, the major intermolecular force for HF, that's going to be hydrogen bonding. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.